Dear children, welcome to Learn and Shine. Today we are going to recite the poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening written by Robert Frost, Standard 9, Unit 1. First let's see a few lines about the author. Robert Frost, 1874-1968, was an American poet noted for his realistic descriptions of rural life. Born on 26 March 1874, he spent his first 40 years as an unknown entity. He received four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry and was a special guest at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration. Frost became poetic force and the unofficial poet laureate of the United States. Some of his famous works are The Road Not Taken, West Running Brook, Mending wall, after apple picking, etc. The poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer. To stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year, he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. Dear children, now let's see an interesting fact in this poem. Jawaharlal Nehru, the former Prime Minister of India, had the two lines, last two lines of this poem, written in block letters and placed it on his desk as these lines reminded him of his responsibilities. Dear children, Jawaharlal Nehru, the former Prime Minister of India, had the last two lines of this poem written in block letters and placed it on his desk as these lines reminded him of his responsibilities. What are the two lines? And miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Thanks for watching.